magandang araw! Sama-sama tayong matuto sa Teacher Self Learning Resource Channel. Revised K-12 Curriculum, Math 5, Quarter 2, Week 8. Use models to illustrate concepts of prime and composite numbers. Use a sheave of erythrocytes to determine prime and composite numbers from 1 to 200. Put check in the appropriate space if the number is divisible by the number in the top row. Put X if it is not. Here are the key answers. In our review, we applied the divisibility rules that we learned to determine whether the given numbers can be divided by the numbers on the top row. Upon observing the given numbers, we can notice that some numbers can be divided by some numbers on the top row, but some cannot. Let us take 19 and 41 for example. Can you think of any other number that can divide these numbers without leaving any remainder? As a matter of fact, these numbers cannot be divided by any other number except for itself and 1. Do you think there are other numbers that share the same characteristics as these two numbers? There are various mathematicians in history, such as Eratosthenes, Euler, and Goldbach, that studied these types of numbers, and now is our time to study them too. Before we proceed to our next lesson, let us first revisit some of the terminologies that we learned from our previous lesson, which will remain important in our new lesson. Let us redefine on our own words what these words mean. Factor, multiple, divisible. Subtopic 1. Use models to illustrate concepts of prime and composite numbers. We have here some random numbers from 1 to 30 written on each ball with varying sizes. What we will do is we will let these balls run through a sift and let us observe what numbers will pass through the sift and what will be filtered out. Here are the balls with numbers. Which numbers went through the sift? Which one did not? Now with a partner, Select two numbers that pass through the sift and another two numbers from those filtered out. Using circles, determine if you can arrange your chosen number in arrays with no leftover circles. An array is an arrangement of objects, pictures, or numbers organized in rows or columns. For example, let us arrange 9 in an array. An array can also tell us the factors of a given number by counting the number of rows and columns of each array. For instance, in our given arrays of 9, the first array has 3 columns and 3 rows, while the second one has 1 row and 9 columns. Therefore, the factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. Now, from our activity, we notice that those numbers that pass through the sift can be grouped with more than one array without leaving any leftover circles. However, those numbers that were filtered out can only be arranged with one array. These two groups of numbers can be classified into two. Prime numbers. 
Those numbers that were filtered out by the sift are called prime numbers. These numbers can only be modeled using one array. From the activity, we notice that prime numbers have exactly two factors, one and itself. Examples, less than or equal to 10, 2, 3, 5, and 7. Composite numbers. Those numbers that pass through the sift are called composite numbers. These numbers can be modeled using more than one array. From the activity, we can also tell that composite numbers have more than two factors. Examples, less than or equal to 10, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Connection of prime and composite number Prime numbers are considered the building blocks of natural numbers because all natural numbers can either be a prime number or a composite number that can be expressed as products of two or more primes. Determine whether the following numbers are prime or composite using arrays. Number 1, 14, 2, 37, 3, 27, 4, 47, number 5, 49. Here are the correct answers. For day 2, use models to illustrate concepts of prime and composite numbers. Activity number one, identifying prime and composite numbers using arrays. Determine whether the following numbers are prime and composite using arrays. Write P if the number is prime and C if it is composite, five points each. Number one, 26, two, 23, number three, 43. 4, 34, 5, 45, 6, 37. Here are the correct answers. Determine the number that is being described. Write your answer on the space provided. One point each. The prime number between 6 and 10. The composite number between 15 and 20 that is divisible by 9. The product of the smallest prime number and the smallest composite number. The sum of all prime numbers less than 10. The difference between the prime number between 25 and 30, and the largest composite number, less than 200. Here are the correct answers. Subtopic 2, use sheave of erythrocytes to determine prime and composite numbers from 1 to 200. Everyone in the class will be given a card with numbers 1 to 50. All you have to do is to follow the instructions written on the board. Instructions Put an X on number 1. Color the number 2 blue. Color all multiples of 2 green. Color the number 3 blue. Color all multiples of 3, green. Color the number 5, blue. Color all multiples of 5, green. Color the number 7, blue. Color all multiples of 7, green. Color all unmarked numbers with blue. Now, pick two random blue colored numbers. Determine whether the number is prime or composite using array. 
then pick two random green colored numbers. Determine whether the number is prime or composite using array. As we can observe, all numbers that are colored blue are prime numbers, while all numbers that are colored green are composite numbers. This process of identifying of prime numbers in a given limit of counting numbers is called the sheave of Eratosthenes. This method was introduced by a Greek mathematician, Eratosthenes, during the 3rd century BC. As you noticed earlier, 1 is crossed out because this number is neither prime nor composite. 1 cannot be considered as a prime number because by definition, a prime number must have exactly two factors. However, 1 has only one factor, which is 1. We can also notice that there are prime numbers that only differs by 2 such as 3 and 5, 5 and 7, 11 and 13, and 17 and 19. These pairs of prime numbers are called twin primes. Activity number 2, identifying prime and composite numbers using the shift of Eratosthenes. Identify all the prime numbers between 1 to 100 using the shift of Eratosthenes, one point each. Prime numbers. Here are the correct answers. There are 25 prime numbers between 1 to 100. Refer to the prime numbers chart that you just constructed. Determine the number that is being described on each item, one point each. What is the largest prime number between 1 and 100? What is the difference between the largest prime number and the smallest? Composite number. What is the only even prime number? What is the sum of all prime numbers between 70 and 80? What numbers are the only twin primes between 50 and 100? What is the sum of all prime numbers between 10 and 20? What is the difference between the largest prime number and the least composite number between 20 and 50? What is the sum of all twin primes that is in between 10 and 20? How many prime numbers are in between 50 and 100? What is the product of the least and largest prime numbers in between 1 and 100? Here are the correct answers. For day 4. From the discussion for this week, when can we say that a number is a prime number? When can we say that a number is a composite number? Is 1 a prime or a composite number? Why? What are twin primes? In this lesson, we learned that prime numbers are the building blocks of natural numbers. As a person, we also have people around us that makes us who we are. Can you name a person that contributes to your growth? Identify all the prime numbers between 1 to 200 using the sheave of eras. Identify all the prime numbers between 1 to 200 using the sheave of eratosthenes. One point each. Here are the steps.
refer to the prime numbers chart that you just constructed determine the number that is being described on each item one point each How many prime numbers are there between 1 and 200? What is the largest prime number between 1 and 200? What is the least twin prime numbers between 100 and 200? What is the largest twin prime numbers between 100 and 200? What is the difference between the largest prime number and the least? Composite number in between 1 to 200. How many prime numbers are there between 100 and 200? How much more is the largest prime number than the least prime number between 100 and 200? What is the sum of all prime numbers between 100 and 110? What is the only prime number between 140 and 150? How many pairs of twin prime numbers are there in between 100 and 200? In this lesson, we learned that prime numbers, 